Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these three super cute mini Aladdin themed cakes. This video is a collaboration with John over at IC Donuts. I'm going to have his video linked below. Don't forget to check it out and subscribe. That being said, let's get right into it. So I've made myself three templates and I'm going to have all these linked below. I cut out the main shape of each character's face, excluding any dangly bits like hair or ears, and I'm cutting that out of some vanilla cake using my little knife here. I'm cutting each cake in half and then filling them with some chocolate buttercream using my small offset spatula. I'm adding a thin layer of buttercream to the outside of each cake to lock in those pesky crumbs and then that's going to go in the fridge for about 25 minutes to chill. I'm adding one more layer of buttercream to each cake, but I'm being very aware of how much buttercream I'm adding. Because I used a template, you don't want to add a really thick layer of buttercream because keep in mind I also have fondant to add to these, and I don't want to lose the shape of the head. It is going to be a smidge bigger, but I don't want like a really big cake compared to the template that I used because then all the features are going to be weird. Once my buttercream was nice and smooth, I put all three of them back in the fridge and I'm going to start on my fondant. Each cake is going to have a base color of fondant, so brown for Abu, black for Jasmine, and blue for the Genie. I rolled out my fondant on my work surface to just under an eighth of an inch thick and I'm draping that over each cake, just working quickly with my hands to get it nice and smooth, working my way down the sides. When everything was smoothed down, I grabbed my X-Acto knife and just trimmed away the excess at the bottom. For each character, I broke the template down into portions. You've seen me do this many a time. I cut out the eye, hair, eyebrow, any of the features I was going to have to add to the cake. And I started with the boo just because he's my favorite and he's the absolute cutest and I love the way he turned out. I cut the center part of his face out of some light brown fondant and I just left a little bit extra going up because I knew this was going to be covered but I still wanted to have the full scope of his face. I added another piece of dark brown fondant on top of my abu cake just to get his little tufts of fur on either side and then added the lighter portion of his face right on there using my template as a guide. With this purpley red maroony fondant, I'm covering the square at the top of his head, which is his little hat, and then just trimming that away slightly on the sides. I added the curve of his nose and then placed down the rest of the features that I had made earlier and let sit just to firm up a smidge. When I was placing on the ears, mine did stick just fine on their own, but if you need a little extra support, you can add two small pieces of dried spaghetti in each one. I draped some light purple fondant over his hat and then just eyeballed the little design he has on there. And then to finish him off, I popped on his mouth and here he is all done. I made Jasmine much the same way, just breaking down my template and then adding the features layer by layer. When I got to the pendant thingy on her tiara, 
I did brush it with some gold. I'm going to link the one that I used below. And I did the same thing for her earrings. To give the blue jewel in the center some extra pizzazz, I just brushed over it with a little bit of blue luster dust. I tucked a little piece of dried spaghetti into her hairpiece because that was not staying on there. And then once I pushed it in place, I just wrapped a little bit of blue for the hair tie. The trickiest part of the genie was the mouth. So once I had traced it out, I just used my soft fondant tool and my balling tool to hollow it out a little bit so it was indented versus the rest of the cake. I filled his mouth in with some black fondant and then carried on adding the rest of his features, including a gold earring and a teeny tiny little ponytail. And here they are all finished. These were really easy to make guys. And if you didn't want to make all three, you could just make one and blow up the templates so you could make a bigger cake and feed more people. Easy peasy. Don't forget to check out John's video. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.